My name is Ruth Willis, and I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to share with you some facts about recycling and its importance to us all. Here are a few facts that may shock you. They certainly made plain to me the importance of recycling. I hope they are useful in convincing you to do, those of you that do not already recycle, to jump on board today and start. Every year, the United States they have approximately, they generate approximately 230 million tons of trash, about 4.6 pounds per person per day. Less than one quarter of it is recycled. The other is either incinerated or buried in landfills. With a little forethought, we could actually reuse or recycle about 70% of the landfill waste, which includes valuable materials such as plastic, and glass, metal, and paper. This would reduce the demand on the virgin sources of these materials and eliminate potentially severe environmental, economical, and public health problems. Some or most landfills, they've been closed because they're either full or they're contaminating groundwater. This means they need other places to start new landfills. Brian Palmer said in 1986 that there were 7,683 dumps in the United States. By 2009, there was just 1,908 landfills nationwide. That's a 75% decline in the disposable facilities in less than 25 years. Does this mean there's less trash? Absolutely not. Now instead of a lot of small garbage dumps, we have large landfills. Trash has to be shipped to other towns around the country to be dumped. This means there's more resources being used and more pollution. I don't know about you, but I would hate to have a landfill near my neighborhood. Oh, can you imagine the smell on a hot summer day? Our little ones can teach us to recycle. My granddaughter told me about recycling. Sid went to the zoo, and there a lady had used a sea lion to show them how important it was to recycle. The lady threw the plastic jug in the water and had the sea lion to retrieve it. Then the recycling is not hard and it's free. There are so many ways to recycle and some even pay. Did that get your attention? Good. Start saving your Coke cans. Soda cans are aluminum and they can be sold at the recycling center. South Haven and Olive Branch have recycle bins that they bring to your home. And these are used for the recycling. There are big metal bins in front of the Justice Court building over on Highway 51, there for recycling. In our biology book, there's an article that says, Trash to Treasures. And I've seen some really great things made out of what other people think of as trash. My brother takes little spark plugs, he makes little animals out of them. And I mean, I've seen some really great things. If you have anything that you no longer need or won't, don't trash it. Either recycle it or donate it. Use your imagination to create new things with it. Environmentally conscious students from Davison's College in North Carolina, they went out and they collected these discarded items for their local charities. This not only helps our environment, but it helps others as well. There are many reasons to recycle. Since we need this planet for ourselves, and all the future generations to come. If we continue the way we're going, there won't be much left. Since it seems like it should be second nature to recycle, we ask ourselves why everyone isn't doing their part. There are several possible reasons why everyone isn't. And one of them is they don't think it does any good or it takes a few extra minutes. Remember, 4.6 pounds per person and 70% 70, 70 can be recycled. It's well worth the time and the effort. Another reason, they don't know where to start or how to recycle. As for how, start with just one bottle at a time. When trying to find a place to recycle, look for recycle logos. They're located at various places. Target has them, the zoo, among other places. So now that I have answered some of your questions, that prevent people from recycling, I ask you today, just you know, try to help with the solution and not be part of the problem. So let's go out and recycle today.